Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and then if you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video and my channel if you could and if you like, please like and subscribe. I'm currently uh, meal prepping for the upcoming trip to Saudi Arabia. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I will just show you the protein pancakes that I'm currently making. Uh, I will go ahead and insert the clip here which I recorded the other day uh, on how to make these pancakes. They're very easy to make and they're so worth the little effort that you will have. So enjoy the clip and I will see you soon. So I'll be using this yogurt. It's actually a 2% fat. I don't know if it's gonna be focusing finally. Okay, it's a 2% fat greek style uh, yogurt but you can use any type even with fat fear would work one egg sweetener uh, a little bit of baking powder some salt and i'm using regular uh, flour at this time the other time i used oat flour but i ran out so i'll be just using the regular one and some chocolate chips I do not have banana anymore, so I will not use that. I already measured out uh, some protein powder, like 40 grams of protein powder and 40 grams of the uh, flour. No, actually 30 grams of protein powder and 40 grams of flour. So I will set you guys here. My kitchen has very limited space. So hopefully I will be able to record um, this recipe for you. I wanted to show this because the other day I tried it and I've been... No, I used to make a lot of pancakes, protein pancakes before. I used to have like protein pancakes every day for my last meal uh, when I was on prep like six years ago. So actually I just, I don't even know. I just remembered that maybe I should try again to have like something sweet and and yummy before I go to bed so this is how I come up with the idea and I wanted to share this recipe with you guys because I feel like it's really good and I shared it on in my Instagram so if you don't follow me go ahead and follow me on Instagram so let's go ahead and make the pancakes um first I will add I'll come here and show you guys because it's just I don't know, it's such a bad setup. Not sure where would work any better. But anyways, you add the flour and the protein powder mix first. I do add only one drop of sweetener. I'm using this one, but you can use any, one, any type. Only using one drop because the protein powder I'm using, it's pretty sweet. Um, then I will add a little bit of baking powder. I think that's fine. So you have no a little bit of salt, okay? Uh, now you have all the dry ingredients here. Just mix, mix, mix. Actually, if you have a Nutri Bullet or any other like different type of mixer or blender, it's so much easier to work with. But this is what I have, so I'll make this work. Um, okay. Once you're done with that, you will just add one egg. And I will add 110 grams of this yogurt. And now when you have everything in the cup, you will literally just use the blender and blend the whole thing. So let's do that now. Usually I would suggest you to use some uh, oil spray for the pan, but I have these Tefl pans and they work pretty well. Like I never use uh, any oil or anything like that. So I will just do it without again. If you guys could see my setup here for this video, I don't know, it's dangerous. Um, 
Well, I'm trying my best so you guys can see it. Okay. And I only have a little bit of uh, chocolate chips left. So this is what I, be, I will be using. It's literally five grams. And whenever you're ready, it's... Or you think it's ready? Well, not yet, I'm fucking this up. Oops, I totally fucked up. Wait a second. Well, this is gonna be just an ugly one, <laughs> so sorry. I tried to make this so super pretty, but yep, this is what we got now. So it's not gonna be the prettiest pancake stack, but I promise you, even if you mess up, it's it tastes really good. So don't that don't get discouraged, discouraged, discouraged. Mm -hmm. I will just like, don't be sad if uh, you end up like uh, like me. I promise you, it tastes really good. So I will just finish up the pancakes without the camera because obviously I'm messing up. And whenever it's ready, I will show you the beautiful stack. So I will go ahead and put the ingredients on the screen. The recipe is basically you just blend everything, everything that it's here, screenshot it. Put it in a blender, blend and bake for pan fry. That's it guys. So hope you will enjoy these pancakes. If you will try it, please, please, please tag me on Instagram, share it in your stories and I wanna see more of your creations. Try to make it more aesthetic than what I did. I have a lot of fruits there, maybe some more chocolate, some cereal on the top, whatever your uh, little heart desires or your stomach and soul wants on that day. So yeah, thank you very much for getting or spending a few minutes with me making some protein pancakes and um, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed that little clip and as I said, if you try the pancakes, please tag me and let me know how it went. I will show you really quickly the small grocery haul that I did. So. I'm um, not sure how many of you know we will be spending I'm trying to adjust this no not good <coughs> we'll be spending uh, so we will be spending five days in the desert uh, in Saudi Arabia uh, watching and following to some point or at least the boys will be following the Dakar but I will be there with them for five days. That means I will not have access to the kitchen, which means I will need to fill uh, in my macros with some uh, food. So my tip is, let me take care of the pancake because it's baking. Okay, so my tip is to get some dry foods which are very like easy to track uh, not too many ingredients somehow healthy as well uh, if that's any any possibility so what I got uh, rice cakes I got these oatmeal uh, cookies I got some oatmeal but they're like flavored there are two flavor I never tried these but hopefully there will be good I can just uh, pour some hot water over it I got some nuts I do love uh, cashews and almonds so that's what I got and I got two other snacks this is a Romanian snack I really enjoy this I don't know if it will ever focus I always struggle with focusing okay maybe okay there you go it's called eugenia or eugenia i have no idea how you pronounce it or how it's supposed to be pronounced in romanian and i got nature valley uh bar which 
for the last time I had in the States and I did enjoy it all the time so I'm excited to have that as well I will go ahead and get back to finishing up my pancakes now and then I will show you the meal prep that I just did I only did meal prep for two days because on the third day on Sunday currently it's Friday no currently it's Thursday I didn't even tell you guys uh, on Sunday we will already be in the house and then I will be able to cook up some, cook, cook up some protein some chicken for the five days that we will be out so catch you guys later for the meal prepped no prepped meals <laughs> clip so it's super simple what i prepped here so let's start with tomorrow this will be meal number one it's some rice uh porridge some chocolate bananas and some cheese please don't knock it till you try it uh, oatmeal or rice meal is perfect with cheese <laughs> it's light cheese actually I have cabbage here the same light cheese some chicken tomatoes and some light mayo same thing here but with added rice and then I have the pancakes in a ziploc bag this is super convenient I can just snack on it actually when oh, I forgot and the oatmeal biscuit for snack as well this is for Saturday Saturday is a high carb day so it's two meals, the, exactly the same, rice, light cheese, tomatoes and chicken. It will get another two of these biscuits, the same breakfast and uh, the protein pancakes, which are actually over here. So, for protein pancakes. And I wanted to add that when traveling, I always try to keep it simple because it's unnecessary to overcomplicate things. It's also so much easier to meal prep because you choose one protein source, one uh, carb source, some vegetables, oh, and some fat source, and then you just prep it. Like it's so much easier than if you were like trying to make super fancy meals. Uh, obviously when you're home you have so much more time and then you can do that but when traveling try to keep it simple simple ingredients it will just make your life uh, so much easier so this is my my tips these are my tips and this is Luna she just wanted to say hi to you guys she's my my baby literally she's four and a half years old French Bulldog and she's been with me ever since she was born. I mean, when she turned two months, so yeah. Say hi to Luna. Luna, say hi to the people. <laughs> and uh, we see you guys later in the next clip. And thank you guys for watching. Hopefully these tips were helpful and then you will be able to utilize and use them in the future whenever you're tra uh, traveling. So thank you guys very much and see you in the next one.